So the next adjustments will be tempo adjustments. So the first adjustment that we have here, the first adjustment would be a tempo spread misalignment. The tempo should be 85 to 90 degrees, like this, okay? With reference to the frame front, and the tempo should be parallel to each other. By looking at this frame, this tempo right here is too spread out. I can use my thumb to curve it like this. I can use a flat surface to curve it like this, or by using a nylon, nylon half padded pliers. I will use, I will hold the frame, um, half padded pliers to, in order to fix the misalignment. Okay, so I will use the half, the the nylon half padded pliers. Okay, like this. I am gonna put the padded side to the outside, that way I don't ruin the metal side and the metal side on the inside. I will put pressure with my finger on right here on the end piece, that way um, no more misalignments happen, okay? So I will press it like this. I will press it right over here and I won't do a lot, just a little bit and I will double check my work. So I will do this a little bit and check to see if it makes a U form. Okay, so, okay, now it's better. Now it's not spread out. Okay, now it looks more like a U from UM. And that would be temple spread. And I'm using the nylon half padded pliers as a tool, or I was using. Okay, the next misalignment is tempo parallelism. Okay, when I place the glasses like this upside down, I notice that the temples are wobbling. As you can see, I check the bridge. The bridge is okay. I check the I check it from the front to see if you know it may be any other misalignment. But this frame does look like it's good. No, I don't see no Xing, no uh, co planner. So it's the temples that are not parallel okay so in order to fix this i can use the wide jaw angling plier okay the, the angling plier has a little hole and that's gonna go inside well on the dowel side on the dowel hole right here and the pressure is gonna go um to the front so so because Because it's wobbling to this side, I am going to start on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it over here. I'm going to apply um, pressure with my fingers so the frame doesn't get another misalignment. But basically, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to hold it hard with my other hand, press it with this hand, with my right hand, and I'm going to pu push, pull, I mean, I guess... Um, I'm going to put force going down, okay? So I'm going to be rotating it like this, okay? So then I'm going to put it down. It's a lot better. Now it is not wobbling. Now it's good. Now it's better, okay? So now it's not wobbling. And, um, you know, we need to just check that everything is okay, that we didn't mess another part of the glasses, so that is temple parallelism. That is how to check for parallel parallelism. Temple parallelism, I'm sorry. Okay, so the next misalignment is this one. Okay, so this does have pantoscopic tilt. The pantoscopic tilt should be between 16 to 18 degrees, and it's good to have pantoscopic tilt for most frames, but too much of it, it's also bad. And as you could see, too much of it is also bad, see, too much. So what I'm gonna do is using the um, wide angling plier as my, my tool, okay? I will fix this portion right here. I will take away some of this. It will still leave the frame with a little bit of pantoscopic, pantoscopic tilt, but it won't be too much, okay? So I will put the plier like this and i will hold it really hard here 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise up. I'm going to raise upwards the temple. Raise upwards like this. Okay. So I could also use my fingers to do this. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do like this. It does put a little bit of pressure on your fingers. But, okay, see, now that looks a lot better. It still does have pantoscopic tilt, but it's not a lot. So this is the side that we just did. And this is the other side right here. So as you could see, it's a lot different. So again, I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to push it a little bit up and now it's looking a lot better. Okay, you see? So I will double check that, you know, everything is good. Yes, everything is good. It's still, the frame still does have pantoscopic tilt, which, you know, all frames should have, but it doesn't have as much. So I am going to use my chart and I'm just going to check the pantoscopic tilt on it and it has approximately now that we took a little bit away it has approximately around i see it around like like maybe like 10 degrees more or less like 10 degrees more or less looking from my point if we're going like this with our head okay so that's pantoscopic tilt, misalignment. Too much pantoscopic tilt. Okay, the next alignment we're gonna talk about, it's, this is the retroscopic tilt. So frames, sorry, frames shouldn't be having retroscopic tilt because it affects the patient's uh, viewing area depending on which lens they have. Okay, so right here, I see that the temples are going too up right here. So the temples are going way too up and we have to get rid of that. We have to make it more straightforward. Okay, so I am going to be using the wide angling plier again in order to take away the retroscopic tilt and put it more of a, you know, more of an orthoscopic or a little bit of pantoscopic tilt. Okay. So I am going to be, I'm going to be using, I could use the white angling plier or I could use my fingers as a tool. I am going to be using my fingers in this case. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to press it really hard on the end piece and then I will, you know, I will bend the, this, the, this part, the temple. And now it's looking a lot better. So this is one side and this is the other side now i will do the same thing that i did on this side to this side so like so and 